All right, thanks, Lauren. Well, from the southern rock stages in the 70s to the front row at church, Leonard Skinner backup singer JoJo Billingsley has seen it all. Fox 7's Lauren Jones spent the day with the member of the legendary band about life on the road, loss of her band, and how her faith has turned her life around. This used to be JoJo Billingsley's life. Backup singer for the legendary band, Leonard Skinner. I got to sing with them, uh, join them on their fourth album, uh, Give Me Back My Bullets. They'd already recorded the album, but I got to join on the tour. A tour that crossed continents and changed the face of rock and roll. There were cars, motorcycles, boats, bicycles, airplanes, helicopters, horses, every buses, every kind of mode of transportation you could think of parked all the way back to London. Plus all those people. JoJo rock and rolled with the band for three years. She considered them family, a family that was taken away by tragedy. I was the only one that went on the plane when it crashed uh, because the Lord gave me a dream two nights before uh, the plane crashed that it was going to crash. She did what she could to convince her friends to not get on the plane. He said he saw fire come out of one of the engines the day before and that was like another Thing to me, I'm like, please, y'all, please don't get back on that plane. JoJo says the band took a vote and decided to board the plane. October 20th, 1977 became a day that JoJo says she'll never forget. The day her band's plane crashed, killing six of her friends, including lead singer Ronnie Van Zant, guitarist Steve Gaines, and JoJo's close friend and fellow backup singer Cassie Gaines. JoJo escaped the crash, but faced death again three years later. He almost killed backstage at a concert in 1980. A guy beat me in the head with this flashlight filled full of lead. I woke up in a puddle of my own blood. Longtime rock star JoJo credits God to turning her life around. She says he's the reason she escaped the life of drugs and alcohol. I've been through a lot of rebellion and stuff. And and uh, I knew I had messed up. So the singer traded in Southern Rock for something a little more inspirational. She started singing to churches around the United States in putting her own spin on the number one hit, Sweet Home Alabama. And like any other fan, I had to get my own autographed picture, signed JoJo, God bless. And I just want to thank you for saving my soul. Oh, it's going to be a sweet home. Don't you want to go home? Lauren Jones, Fox 7 News. JoJo sang at the Wabash Valley Correctional Facility yesterday and plans to continue to sing to anyone that will listen for years to come.